Hey guys, what's up? So we went to the biggest Bass Pro Shops of the state and to the Memphis, to Memphis to the Pyramid and we bought $250 <laughs> of stuff. Okay, we're back. So let's get straight to it. Some of this stuff, I didn't actually buy it past Pearl. I haven't opened it yet since Christmas. But let's just jump right in. I'll start with my baits. So like, a whole lot of baits. Like, a lot of baits. All right. This, heading torpedoes. Uh, didn't get these at Bass Pro. Got them for Christmas. Haven't opened them yet. Missile flipping jig. Let's go. Right there. Electric chicken. Best crappie bait ever. Like, anything will bite these. All right, my favorite thing I bought today. 360 GT swim baits and 360 GT heads. Now I'm gonna do a video on a full review of these and what they look like underwater. But basically, I'm gonna open these up. Uh, if I can figure out how to do it. But basically what these do is, the whole head, is like, it's like a rattle trap swim bait head. And it's like the coolest thing ever. You know what, whoa, okay, yeah, can you open that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep going these opening that. Yeah, okay. Pink swim baits. I got these to make a pink video. <laughs> I got more pink stuff. I got some, uh, what are these? There's some pink lizards, some pink Texas rigs. <laughs> so we got pink baits, so we can do a pink challenge video. All right, okay, Hunter got the 360 stuff open, so. You don't hear it rattle, but like, basically, it's like a crankbait, a swim bait, and a rattle trap head. But. No, we don't want this. So, but once you open these up, these aren't normal swim baits either. Oh, hold on, I can, I can, I can do it. I can do it. Alright. Just get a knife. <laughs> Alright, so guys, basically, these are the 360 GT swim baits. So once you take one of these swim baits out, so you take this here, and once you thread it through, this stuff just fits like perfect. Like, it's like, has a hole specifically for the, uh, swim bait hook to go in. See how perfect it fits? So the head just fits right around the swim bait. So then it's just perfect like that. I got some more electric chickens, but these are electric chickens with a different like tail on them. Basically these are electric chickens, like I said. Crappy chicken. Uh, once, okay, this, uh, I actually, I got this for dad for Christmas. This is a live target. These live targets are sweet. But, um, I don't really say anything about it. It says 6 to 10 foot on the run, but this thing is really, really cool. But, I mean, it just has, like, its own, like, action for it. Also, guys, if you wonder why we're wearing full camo and stuff, it's because we were just outside. There's, like, a blizzard going on right now. It is snowing so hard. Like, it is putting down, like, five inches in, like, an hour. All right, guys, we got two Booyah jigs. Two big finesse jigs. I got these today. Didn't get this at Bass Pro. Got this uh, on Christmas. It's a Cloud Nine Six Cents Best Deep Divers Ever. Are worth however much. I mean, they're not cheap, but they are worth every bit of it. All right, guys. So got a mop jig. Ooh, what? what was that? Okay, so I got a mop jig Sneeze. right here. Mop jigs are great. This one's got a flat head, so when it lands, it's gonna kind of stand up. So, I mean, you've got this really nice action as it's falling. Anyway. Oh, whatever. Forget that. Blue lizards. So one of the lakes we like to fish, all the bass want is blue stuff. Blue Texas rigs, whatever you want to fish on them. More Booyah Finesse jigs. These are green and blue. These right here, these are called stickos. You put them on Ned rigs. These are blue and black. These are great. If you just want to catch bass, you don't really care how big they are, perfect. But you can catch big bass on those. I mean, there was a guy the other day out at Beach Lake, caught, he caught three five-pounders on three consecutive casts. Here's a balling out Buckeye jig. It's got red, got some green in it. Uh, I want to keep going. I'm trying to get through my stuff fast. Here's a bankroll jig. It's a booyah. So like that bop jig, it kind of stands up on its head. Here's a War Eagle custom jig. All right, guys, these are the America Stickos. Hey, Roxy. Hey, Roxy. <laughs> hey, Roxy. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Look, come here. Dredger, got the dredger on sale. 25 2 deep diver. Double dip salt tubes. These are brown. Crappie Max pink little tubes. Another mop jig. We're gonna open this one. Go for it. I have so much to put in my jig box. I bought. <laughs> I bought $50 worth of jigs. 
<laughs> anyway, mop like jig. This one's blue, green, black. If y'all watch the uh, fly unboxing video, it's just I don't. I got new flies. I'll put the link in the description. Y'all should watch that. It's pretty cool. It's just like this. I'm talking about my stuff in depth. Anyway, stickos. These right here. These are brown. These are a money color. If you can get this color, you can catch as many bass as you want. They just. I mean, yeah. What do you know say? where they're at? Kind of. Yeah. What? What do you say? <laughs> well, yeah. What do you say? Okay. Um. Wait. What? Okay. This what is it? Football jig chunk. What? What? Anyway, there's a jig. It's already got a trailer on it, so you know it's fancy. But, anyway. Okay, and all jokes aside, I really like this jig. You can see how the, the line, the hook is. The line eye is just kind of sunk in. It's really nice when you, when you drop. So I got a BD series. Never tried one of these, but I can't wait to fish with it. It looks pretty good. And I got a box to put all this stuff in. Boxes. <laughs> Boxes galore. So I got some flies. Uh, this is a this is a sculpt, sculpting fly, mm -hmm. but it's a sinking fly. It's actually got a jig head on it. I don't know if that's still a fly or not. Yeah, of course. I mean it's still a fly. If y'all watch my the fly unboxing video, I said that my favorite bass fly is a muddler. This is like a small muddler. Oof. All right, now I'm gonna start like, packing all that. Hunter, why don't you tell them what you bought? You done talking? Rude. <laughs> Drop a like if you think that was uncalled for. <laughs> We're gonna be out of room. So, for my birthday, I got a kayak. So I'm putting stuff on it. Hey guys, I might Dude. cut myself and die. I might cut myself and die like in the middle of this video. Leave a like. <laughs> Just, oh. <laughs> uh, but here's a rail. It's 12 and a half inches. Accessories and whatnot it goes on your kayak or anywhere you want it to be. You just rig it down the side of the kayak yeah. and then you get mounts for whatever you have. Like, so his debt finder he wants to buy will have a mount that he can run down that railing. And bought these. I always need some of those. They're buoys. We have some in the bass yeah. boat. So you throw them out if you see something on the debt finder, um, like on the bottom, and then you know to go back and fish around that spot. Uh, this is for the rail. Actually this metal piece goes in the rail. Wow. It attaches to whatever mount that like your depth finder or your rod holder has. I heard Floyd doing something. I wonder what he's destroying. Floyd <laughs> So hey buddy. Hey boy. Alright, well basically kinda fits right in there. In, go wherever you want. Screw you it, it up and tightens down. down. And then, yeah. So it goes wherever you want, and then you can just like. Uh, Jazz comes with nails and whatnot. Bought this. It's pretty good. I like it. My dad has one of these. What is it? It's a. I, I don't it's duck hunt, so I, I genuinely don't know. Alright. All of all of you that duck hunt and watching, you know what this is. It's a mallard drake call. You can do different species with it. You can do pintail, you can do mallards. You can do gadwalls, widgeons, wood... Uh, no. Can't do wood. <coughs> So, what is that? <laughs> I bought some flies. I never fly fished, so this is kind of my first bait. Back up there. So, so basically, that one is literally like the best brim fly. Brim cannot resist that fly. And also, this one. This one's more of a sinking, it sinks. This one floats. So. Yeah. Uh, but this, like, small creeks and whatnot, you jerk it and. What are you doing? Rocks all oh, no, her poor. Oh, her ball's under there. <laughs> <laughs> no, Floyd, it's a crank right on this rock. <laughs> I would do that, though. Floyd, quit. 
Boy, quit! Oh, that one. You need a crank by stuck in your face. Boy, no. Boy, stop. Stop sticking it down. You know what, this ain't gonna work. Alright, so this you can just jerk through, get, like, hand fish, sometimes, maybe. Look, I'm gonna um, break this to it, alright, mate. I got some stickos. Stickos, you can put them on Ned rigs and stuff. This isn't actually a Ned rig, it's just a shaky head. Yeah. So. You know, but you fish them on that or Ned Rigs or, you know, there is stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. If you don't want to miss the next video, we're going to be fishing with these pink baits. We're going to have the dogs with us. Always, dogs can't go without the dogs. Hunter, I mean, are you going to have some, are you going to make duck hunting videos? I don't know. Are you? Alrighty, well I'll be expecting that too. Thanks guys.